so this is going to be a quick energy read for all signs so if you found this reading it's for you it's timeless we are in the season of love and there's so many energies swirling around we're going to tap into them so I'm just going to pull a few cards for the Divine Feminine and also a few cards for the Divine Masculine and we're going to go from there. Um, for those of you who are waiting on the readings for February, I just recorded Libras and Virgos. So, and not in that order, I recorded Virgos and then Libras because I'm going down the line. Um, and I will be recording the rest of the readings within the next couple days so that all of them will be out before Valentine's Day. So I'm going to try to record Scorpios. Let's see. What do we got? Scorpio. I don't remember who we have left now. <laughs> Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Is that who we have left? Scorpio, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius. No. Scorpio, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, right? That's how, that's the order. So yes, I will be doing those within the next couple of days. I just wanted to go ahead and tap into the energies of both um, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And remember, this has nothing to do with gender or sex. It has to do with the energies. So if you consider yourself a Divine Masculine and you're feminine, then this is for you. If you consider yourself a divine feminine and you're masculine, that's okay as well. Okay? All right. And I'm also going to try to do a same-sex read for the divine feminine um, L, LG. How do I say that? LGBTQ? Yes. Community. So, same sex, female, it's been fun, because I did do one for the males. It's been a really long time since I've done them for the females, I know. So, I'm, I'm going to get that out as ASAP as well. I know it's been a while. So sorry, I'm not trying to exclude you guys. I have my rose quartz here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy. So, one second, I'm going to use my bell. Alright, I just wanted to go ahead and clear the energy. So... <clears throat> This is a timeless read. And just so you know, all of my readings right now are half off for this season of love. All right. So now we're reading for all of the signs, spirits. Let's go ahead and tap into the energy of the Divine Feminine first and see what she has going on. How are our Divine Feminines feeling? Where are they at on their twin soul journey? Now remember, I'm only a twin soul reader. That is what I do. So if you found this... You are definitely a twin soul. Do not doubt it. This is my life's work and purpose, y'all. We got two cards for the Divine Feminine. It says, resentment or anger is blocking your heart chakra. Forgive and let go. Let these feelings go. Listen to 528 HC, which is 528 hertz. So the Divine Feminine is in the process of release releasing a bunch of resentment and anger in their heart chakras. It says, follow your heart instead of your head in this situation. This will lead you to the outcome that you truly desire. So the Divine Feminine is also learning how to follow her heart to get her to where she wants to be. That is beautiful energy. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and pull from the Love Oracle and see if we got anything from there that needs to be said for the divine feminine mm. can we get one card for the divine feminine what is the thing that needs to come out the most what is the divine feminine working on the most right now <clears throat> this is going to be a very short and sweet reading just so you know i just want to give the people that are waiting for readings Something to sort of, you know, sink their teeth into while they're waiting. Okay. All right. What is our Divine Feminine's working on right now? Ooh. That card flew out. Should we take it? Ooh, romantic feelings. 
So the Divine Feminine is definitely romancing herself if she's not romancing her partner, okay? She's learning how to be sensual in her own skin. She's learning to love herself, which is going to draw that Divine Masculine right in. She's learning how to romance herself. She can buy herself flowers. I love that song. Home. And some of the divine mass, divine, divine masculine. Well, some of the divine masculines might be too, because that was a slip. And so usually that means that the message is coming through for both sexes or both, both energies. Sorry. So home, we have home. So some of the divine feminines are definitely working on purchasing a home, creating stability for themselves because they know they do not need that security from the divine masculine, they find it within themselves. But for some of the divine masculines, I see them actually, you know, working towards that themselves. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to get four tarot cards for the divine feminine. Four, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to get two cards for the divine feminine energy. And then we're going to leave off with the roomy deck for the divine feminine. And then we're going to go on to the divine masculine. <clears throat> All right, what do we got for the Divine Feminine Energies? What are the two things she is working on the most? And what does her partner need to know, etc., etc., Spirit? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Can we get one card to show what she's working on, please? Or how she's feeling first? And then the other card will be what she is wants her masculine to know. Okay, whoa, there's her card. Hold on. Six of Swords. So your Divine Feminine is letting go of a lot of things that no longer serve her. She's moving forward. Whatever that means to you, Divine Masculines, she's letting go of her past. The question is, are you? She's moving forward. She's making space and room for you to come into her life, okay? By, you know, cutting all those cords. She's dotting her T's and um, dotting her T's and dotting her I's and crossing her T's. What does she want her divine masculine to know about her journey, about their journey? Ooh, that one popped out. Knight of Swords. So, she... Knight of Swords. Oh my God, I'm not even sure what this means. It's something about someone being, <laughs> well, it feels like she is saying to you, she wants you to go for it. She wants you to come forward. She's tired of waiting. <laughs> There's this energy of urgency, of hurry up and get your, you know, shiz together. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what it means, but we're going to look it up. <laughs> So funny. That's what it feels like anyways. Bold and enthusiastic, but also imaginative and clever like his queen. He is a great champion of good causes and inspires others by his idealism and dedication to any cause he adopts. He is decisive and while others dither over a course of action, he will just plunge headlong into it and generally win the day. See, I told you, she's saying, get your butt in gear, get your butt in here, plunge headlong into this energy is what she's saying. <laughs> he is a symbol of creative upheaval, usually leading to success. So there's this energy of she's tired of waiting. She wants you to get your butt in gear and get make your way. That's so funny. All right, we're going to get one more. I'm getting tired. This is the third reading I've done. <clears throat> All right. It says, let's see, 9 9.03. So quite early in the day, depending on where you're at in the world. It could be nighttime where you're at. It is 9.03 Eastern Standard Time where I am at. All right. <clears throat> so good morning. All right. Let's get one card for the Divine Feminine. What is the last thing um, you want me to tell? Either the Divine Feminine watching or the Divine Masculine watching. <clears throat> and then we're going to go on to the Divine Masculine. Okay. And be done. A 
What do we got, please, Spirit? A new gown. Ooh, we. We dressing up for today or what? What are we doing? What are we doing? Where is the book? Where is the book? Number 18. All right, that number keeps coming out. All right, it's weary and consumed by longing. I was caressed by my beloved last night. My wounded soul was set free where I tasted the sweetness of love. My spirit was lifted at once. I surrendered my life. Excuse me. While overflowing with joy and my vision was filled with light. Love said, don't feel so hopeless. My weary and gloomy one. For my generosity is beyond forgetting those devoted to me. See how boundless divine justice can be. Behold my immeasurable kindness. Love embraced my spirit and all my doubts vanished at once. A new and glorious robe of honor was placed on my shoulders. Love offered me the power of new vision and the transforming touch of divine generosity and place the chalice of eternal wine in my hand. I have the perfect gift for you. It is a gown of new colors, of colors perfectly suited to you and no other. The colors of this gown will make your eyes sparkle and gleam as though they were more beautiful than the most precious of gems. The colors of this new gown will make your skin seem luminous, as if lit from within. For of course it is, beautiful angel, your complexion is radiant with the light of life. Your hair will shine with luster and your entire being will be complemented by this gown as it enhances your beauty in all ways. So hold on no longer to that shabby tattered cloak so unworthy of you. Cast it off. Let me grace your shoulders now with this royal robe instead that you may shine beautifully as befits a royal child of divine parentage. Wow, wow, wow. So the divine feminine is being reminded right now of her beauty and her grace and her angelic light and love force which shines from her heart. And spirit and God are saying, you are glorious, you are glorious divine feminine. Don't forget how glorious and beautiful and luminous you are. That's beautiful. Did you hear all those compliments that are coming from spirits? All of those compliments are also coming from your divine masculine, divine feminine. It talks about your complexion, about your light, about your hair, about everything about you glowing like an angel. That is absolutely beautiful and I love it. All right, so we're going to go on to the divine masculine energy. Let's see what's up with our divine masculines. Because this reading is already getting way too long. Okay, now tapping into the divine masculine energy. Mm. Ooh. Can we get two cards for the divine masculine, please? From the Bodhi Tarot. Divine masculines are like, nope, we're not giving anything up. That's <laughs> so funny. They're like, hey, oh no. We'll force something out. Ooh, divine masculines. Okay. It says, self-love is important at this time. Put yourself first. Take care of yourself and be gentle with yourself. So the divine masculines are learning the very important lesson of self-love. Very important. Very, very important. Everything starts first with self-love. Very good lesson, Divine Masculines. It says, a soul contract has been fulfilled. You've learned important lessons. You will now attract healthy relationships into your life. Okay, for sure, definitely, Divine Masculines, all of this work that you've done on yourself is going to bring in the partner of your dreams, your twin soul, okay? Continue to do the work on yourself. Spirit has, is saying that divine masculines have learned a lot of important soul contracts and soul lessons. And this is what it's going forward.
forward into their union with their divine counterparts. All right, what else do we have for the divine masculine energies? Two cards from the love oracle, please. <clears throat> All right. What do we need to look at, spirit? <clears throat> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> They're like, no. Nope. Oh, there's one. Hit the floor. I gotta get it. Ooh. Ooh. That one is a doozy, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. We have divine intervention. And we have fear. So, a lot of the divine masculines, because they have not quite been up to par with their self love. They're feeling a little bit insecure. They're feeling a little bit of fear. They're feeling like they cannot take the steps necessary forward to approach the divine feminine quite yet. Okay. Spirit is saying if you don't get your butt in gear, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have some major tower moments, divine masculines, if you don't get it together. There's going to be a fire lit on your ASS. Something gonna happen. What was that? All right. So let's go ahead and get one card for what the divine masculine is working on, and another card for what how the divine masculine is feeling and what he wants his divine feminine to know. So let's go ahead and get the card first of what the divine masculine is working on in the dragon tarot. And if this reading resonates with you, please, 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 please thumbs up the video, you guys. It's free. It's also free to subscribe. It helps me in the algorithm. And that way, you know, more than 12, 15 people can watch this video, okay? I am really, really busting my butt to get this content out for you guys. So I'd appreciate a little bit of help. All right, three of wands. I'm working really hard for you. And I have another child sick, so it's been a doozy. All right, so we have three of wands. The divine masculine right now is sort of trying to work on his security. He's not quite there yet. He's he's thinking about the future. He's making those steps, but he hasn't quite seen his manifestations come into play yet. He's learning to master himself first and then he will go on to master his environment. But he is contemplating his future. He's trying to figure out how he can fit you into it. Okay, now. Ooh, and what he wants you to know, Divine Feminine, is that although he knows he'll be successful, he feels very, very exhausted and tired and fatigued. And all of this work on himself and this work on trying to create his outer reality has been very, very hard on him. His soul is tired. And that's when he's going to need your light more than ever, Divine Feminines. Okay, we have Three of Wands followed by Nine of Wands. So, although he very much yearns for, look at that bottom of the deck, yearns for your Queen of Cups energy and love. He is working really hard on, you know, himself and trying to create um, stability for himself in the outside world. For some of the divine masculines, I see you working really hard at trying to create a financial stability for yourself and, you know, create some stability by getting homes just like, you know, the divine feminine is so that you can create this beautiful future together. And believe me, I know that sometimes it feels like you're running on a hamster wheel and things are just going la 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 and you feel like you're running in place. But believe me, the energy is moving and it is moving directly where it's supposed to be going for your highest good. So just trust the process. Your spirit guides are heavy, helping both you and your divine feminine so that you can get in union. That is what they want for you. Spirit is not working against you. Spirit is working for you to get you on the fastest track 
towards your union. Believe me, okay? Everything is, is playing out how it's supposed to. All right, trust that. Let's get one more card now for the Divine Masculine. And we are going to close this reading. What is the last thing you want our Divine Masculines to know? Or the Divine Feminine who's watching for the Divine Masculine? What they are going through? Both of you are doing a phenomenal job. Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines. What you do in this twin soul journey is not easy. You are both doing phenomenal. Don't give up. You're almost there. Okay? All right. The dissolving light. Look at that. It's so beautiful. All right. So this is the last card. Number three. So some of you, there is your... Hey! There is your... <clears throat> Um, Divine Master Card. What are you guys doing? Hey, what are you doing? Why are you locking her out? I'm on. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. The Dissolving Light. I died as mineral and became a plant. I died as plant and rose to animal. I died as animal and I became human. Why should I fear anything? When was I ever less by dying? So this is talking about the fear that you are feeling, Divine Masculines. Spirit is saying there's no reason to fear anything because you have already been through all of this in your lifetime. You just don't remember. You are more powerful than you will ever know, Divine Masculines. Dare to take my hand and become set alight with holy fire. I'm sorry, one second. There's so much background noise. I'm so sorry. I just paused it at 22.22. All right. Sorry about the background noise, guys. Dare to take my hand and become set alight with holy fire, my cherished one. Step forward with me, let us burn together, disassembled in the light that cannot be extinguished. This is the light that burns with such incandescent truth that no falsehood can withstand its aud audacious vibrancy. <laughs> That's a word. Come with me now to the light. Together we shall melt into truth. There is a light so intense, so powerful, that nothing other than itself, its own truth, can exist in its presence. It is the sacred seed, the star of your being, lit up from within. It is the light that never goes out. It is the light that is so powerful, it is beyond duality of light and dark. Cannot ever... It is the light that is so powerful, it is beyond duality of light and dark, and it cannot ever be extinguished or diminished and quite simply beyond all logic it just is wow did you hear that it cannot be extinguished or diminished and quite simply beyond all logic it just is wow it says the blazing divinity of this light sears through any pretense and annihilates illusions and takes us into the spark experience, stark experience of divine truth. It is gentleness and yet it cannot be overcome. It is enduring power and yet it is tender. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So remember divine masculines, how powerful you are. Remember divine feminines, how powerful you are. Your light forever shines. No amount of fear, no amount of hatred, no amount of darkness, no amount of grief, no amount of guilt, no amount of anything can extinguish your light. It forever shines. You just have to remember how to shine it. Okay? You are always loved. That light will never, ever, 
ever leave you. It is you and you are it, okay? So remember to shine your light, both of you. That is going to be what brings you home to each other. Shine your light brightly. Shine it so that your person can say, there, there it is. There's that light in the window. That's what's bringing me home. That's the light I need. That's the light I need to follow to get home. Your person is your home. They cannot find you if you do not put that light in the window and shine it from your heart space. I love you so much. If you want to book a reading with me, go ahead and click in the description box below. All of my readings are half off. May you feel the love in the air every day, always and not just in the month of February. I love you so much. <laughs>